Here on University Avenue and across St. Paul in downtown, construction of the Central Corridor Light Rail Transit Line is underway. There's no doubt construction of a project this size will be a challenge to businesses along the line and drivers making their way through. To minimize the pain, construction is taking place in phases. Well, there's a benefit to businesses and residents in, in not closing university, of course, we're keeping university open to traffic, one lane in each direction plus center turn lanes. And one of the advantages is to not impact all the university at one time. So we segmented the work to just to make uh, impact traffic and impact the businesses in smaller pieces. And then they're broken up into phases, south side first and then north side of work. There's also a guideway piece where the track goes and that's in the middle. So once we complete the south half and the north half, then we'll still have the middle section to complete, which will include all the track. Mom and pop shops, art galleries, and businesses of all types are hoping they won't be forgotten during construction. A lot of the businesses are concerned basically about surviving through construction. They're looking at uh, ways they can be proactive, uh, such as some of the resources that are available to them with some technical supports, uh, updating their websites, or maybe an opportunity for some business to remodel during this construction period. Parking is another issue with the loss of on-street parking on University Avenue. The Metropolitan Council and the City of St. Paul have information and resources for those affected by construction of LRT. Go to centralcorridor.org to find the Metropolitan Council, the builder of the light rail line, for detailed construction timelines and to contact their community outreach coordinators. At stpaul.gov slash centralcorridor, learn about the City of St. Paul's development strategy for the area surrounding the line and resources for businesses to both survive the construction and thrive once the line arrives in 2014. We've worked very hard for the last three and a half years now that I've been on the project talking to businesses and property owners about what's the best way to maintain access for their businesses. So I think uh, my message would be to continue to come to University Avenue. Of course, uh, there's going to be delays. So be creative about how you might want to get to that business. Maybe perhaps talk to that business ahead of time to see what the best way to get there would be, to see where parking for that particular business might be. Some of the businesses are giving out maps themselves that will help their uh, customers have a better way of getting to them and finding them. So also uh, come back out and uh, we're here, we're open and uh, we're here to serve the community.